Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you a few ways to make your dress shoes more comfortable. What's up guys, welcome back to Jen's Lounge. I'm George, if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now, it really, really helps us out. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and today, a few ways to make your dress shoes more comfortable. So a few things to note before we jump into the video. One, your dress shoes are not sneakers. So don't expect them to be as comfortable as your Nikes or your Ultra Boosts or anything like that. And two, the dress shoes with sneaker soles are not dress shoes. They work for business casual at best and are probably better off worn with jeans and a t-shirt. And number three, the best looking dress shoes are not necessarily the most comfortable because dress shoes are built for style over comfort. So if you're watching this video and you're looking to buy your first pair of dress shoes or you're looking to add another pair to your closet, there are a few things you can do before you even make the purchase. First and foremost, you wanna buy a shoe that fits. So basically something that's snug but not tight, something that doesn't squeeze your foot in weird directions. If you put a shoe on and you tie it tight and you have it on for 10 minutes and you're feeling uncomfortable, it's probably too tight. Now, there are a few different ways to find the proper fit. Most shoe companies have their own proprietary last that they build their shoes around, which basically means the mold that this shoe was made out of. Some lasts are thinner than others, some lasts are wider than others. So something like an Allen Edmonds, for instance, they actually come in a wider version for a wide-footed person, but their last is actually still a little bit wider, gives you a little more room in the top of the foot box, and has a more kind of classic look to it. And then you can take something like this shoe from Taft. Um, this is kind of like the middle of the road, not too thin, not too big, just kind of a very happy medium, which is kind of where my foot hangs out personally. And then if you guys have like thinner or skinnier feet, you could go with something like this from Janani, which is like a very, very thin last. And granted, the look is gonna be more streamlined, more sleek, very, very beautiful. But if you don't have a foot that fits that, you're going to be in pain a lot of the time. So as you can see, these are the exact same size shoe, but this one looks a little bit thinner than this one. This is the Taft, this is the Janani. And it's probably only a quarter of an inch or a few centimeters, guys, but you know, that does make a big difference. And number two on the list, guys, buy quality dress shoes. So pretty much the more money you spend up to a certain point, the better quality of shoe you're going to get and the more comfort you're going to get out of that shoe. So basically everything that goes into making a dress shoe has to do with making it as comfortable as possible while keeping it looking great. So, you know, when you have a quality dress shoe, it will be lined with real cork instead of synthetic cork, and that will kind of mold your foot to the shoe so it kind of breaks it in and then you get kind of a personalized custom fit to it. And then with a better dress shoe, you'll get better leather on the sole that will be softer. You'll get a better insole, a better leather insert in here, which will be natural and softer. And then when you get into the better leathers, they will definitely wear in a lot better and not crease as much, one, but also be easier to kind of walk on and walk in. And last but not least, when it comes to buying new dress shoes, I do recommend a Blake Stitch shoe over a Goodyear Welt if you're looking for just total comfortability. Basically because a Goodyear Welt is going to be a little heavier, take a little bit longer to break in, and a Blake Stitch shoe is gonna be easier to walk in, more comfortable, and it's going to be a little lighter, so it's gonna put less wear and tear on your foot. And guys, remember, I'm sure there are exceptions to this rule. This is just kind of a basic rule of thumb. If you want something that's light and easy to walk in, go Blake Stitch. If you want something that's gonna take a little more time to break in and a little bit heavier, a little more sturdy, you go Goodyear Well. So if you already have dress shoes in your closet and you're looking to make those a little more comfortable, there are a few things you can do with the dress shoes that are already in your closet. One, I would recommend getting some insoles for your dress shoes. Now they make super thin, super padded insoles you can pick up. I will link to a few in the description below but that definitely helps if you have a little bit of room in your foot, you can add that little extra padding and it's just going to make kind of a world of difference, especially if you're not working with something that has a great leather insole in it or natural cork on the inside, an insole can very much help you out. So if you guys are on the opposite side of the spectrum, there are some things you can do to make a little more room on your shoes. I am going to do a whole video on how to stretch your shoes and make them bigger, but basically you can use this thing to add a little bit more room to the inside of your shoes, which will in turn make them more comfortable. And up next on the list, you don't have to do anything to your shoes, but you can get some padded dress socks. So I'll have a link to some of my favorite padded dress socks in the description down below, but basically they are a dress sock on top and then they have a little extra layer of cushion, a little extra layer of padding to kind of give you that little 
extra comfort. And last but not least, this is probably the most expensive option on the list, but you can get your shoes resold. So you can take these shoes to a cobbler, you can have him put a crepe sole or a more comfortable leather sole on there. I'm sure he has a ton of options for you to choose from. You can literally take this off and put anything you'd like on the bottom, but that is one way to make your shoes a little more comfortable if maybe the sole is wearing out and you're really feeling the ground or you know the sole just wasn't comfortable to begin with. You can add a new sole if you really like what's going on up top. Probably gonna be the most expensive option, so not recommended unless you really love these shoes or really love what's going on on the top of your shoes. And that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope this was interesting for you. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned a little bit. Um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now. If you haven't followed us on Instagram over at Gents Lounge, give us a follow over there and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Cheers.